So we are very, very excited to be officially launching iFixit Pro. We have been working on this for a long time. This is a, a collection of materials, processes, procedures, and community for the professional community. So iFixit Pro is a lot of things, and I'm going to talk through a lot of the different aspects that we're working on. But I want you to know from the beginning, this is developed in consultation with the repair community in response to literally thousands and thousands of emails and comments and, and feedback that we've gotten from technicians all around the world. We've been doing this uh, for a number of years, and we've, we've been able to consult with folks in Lebanon, uh, in Russia, in Africa, uh, in Asia. This has really been a worldwide effort to bring materials together for the repair community. So what does the community look like? Well, the, the first thing that we've got is Pro Talk. So this is an online forum that's professional only that gives you access to other techs. So you can ask really hard biting questions like, how do I evolve my business? What are the specific ways that you're planning to evolve? A lot of the discussions that we're going to be having here today are happening online. And you have access to some of the top notch people in their field. And because repair ends up getting so specialized, it's really, really nice to be able to go and ask questions and get feedback from other folks. Um, how are you doing testing? What are your internal procedures? This community has been phenomenal. Uh, we're using uh, cutting edge forum software uh, that has been working out really, really well. And it's been exciting to see uh, the community get started. So we launched this in kind of private alpha a few months ago. And I'm excited to say that if you go on and sign up for iFixit Pro today, you have free access to this forum. OK, parts. Repair is not, repair, yeah, it's not possible to get things done without parts. Sourcing parts is a huge source of pain for repair shops. Uh, we spend a lot of time getting in, getting parts. iFixit has been the go-to source for consumer parts for a long time. We're rolling out wholesale parts. Uh, our quality parts line, we're rolling out wholesale pricing on it uh, to professionals. So the, the, we have a you know, very complex supply chain. Professionals need a flexible supply chain. So we've got that. We've got transparent pricing across the board. Uh, we're really trying to streamline and simplify your business. Um, and just like all of our consumer parts, we're backing all of our professional parts with our wholesale pricing, with our lifetime guarantee, so that you can stand behind your repairs. OK, you're a pro. You're running a shop. How can you get visible? How can you, uh, you know, it, it demonstrate your expertise to the community? Because people walk into a shop. They want to be able to know what kind of reputation does this shop have, who's standing behind it, what is their technical expertise compared to the guy down the street. Pros on iFixit can set up a community. Ivan, who's going to be here talking later today, uh, has a repair shop in Miami called Tech Bar. It's a fabulous shop. He has some of the best techs in Miami. If you know the repair market in Miami, you know that the quality is a spectrum. <laughs> and there are a lot of bad repairs, and there are a few good repairs, and it's hard to differentiate yourself. So he's able to create a profile on iFixit with information on what they repair, a little bit of background about the store, and then the ability to straight book an appointment right online. It's really, really slick, uh, and it's working very well for customers. And this is a way, you know, we have a lot of people that come on iFixit and they'll go and they might fix an iPhone themselves, and then they go over and they look at our iPad repair instructions, and they say, you know what? I am a fearless individual, but I am not that fearless. And it's okay if a customer doesn't want to, or a consumer doesn't want to repair an iPad. They can, they can take it to professionals. And so we're starting to send leads from iFixit to repair shops. So we can tell people if you're on iFixit, and we have over 10 million people a month on iFixit looking at how to repair things, we have the ability to drive some of those folks to local repair businesses, which is really, really cool. Uh, this is another one in Florida. This is Device Savers. If you set up a pro team on iFixit, you can go in and, and all of the, your technicians can be members of, of your company. And then all of their individual reputation adds up to be the reputation of the business. So you have, here we've got, we've got seven technicians. Uh, Eric has been contributing a lot, so Eric's got 2,500 reputation points, and then that adds up to 4.8,000 reputation for the entire company. So how does the reputation system work? Well, as you're on iFixit interacting with folks, answering questions, maybe taking some pictures, posting repair guides, the more popular those are, the more people use it, uh, the more points that you get. And then we're able to translate that, those points into visibility for repair businesses. So we've pulled together the ecosystem because there's always been this challenge, how good are technicians? How uh, effective are they? How ethical are they? 
And as we've been looking at the repair landscape, what we have found is that the thing that really differentiates the best techs from everybody else is the best techs are out there sharing their knowledge. The, the techs who are, who, who are going to cheat customers or do a slipshod job generally are not confident enough to be out there sharing their knowledge. It's the folks who are at the top of their game. They're saying, yeah, I'm good and I know I'm so good that I don't have any problem teaching everybody else how to do what I do uh, because I'm going to be able to continue to differentiate myself. Uh, and, and we have a lot of folks like that here at the conference. We're going to be able to learn a lot from them today. They're going to be going into uh, detail on really how they have gained their technical skills. And then they're going to be sharing a lot of it with, with all of you. Uh, and, and the folks that are here today all have a uh, reputation on iFixit and have been contributing and doing a fantastic job. OK, so the big news, and this is the major thing that we're, that we're launching here at this conference, is a certification for repair professionals. Why do we need certification? We have gotten along for a long time in the electronics industry without certification. The cell phone repair world has been the Wild West. And consumers have been getting you know, mixed signals. They'll go to a kiosk in a mall, and they get a poor quality part put on, or it, it breaks you know, a week later. Uh, and there hasn't ever been any kind of institutional reputation system. So what does a certification look like? Well, you have to have a technical bar that you're setting. And then you have to have the ability for the community to you know, feedback and potentially revoke that certification. And so that's, that's really what's, what's going to be rigorous about this certification is, yes, we have the sticker. You can put the sticker on your shop and say, yes, I'm certified. But the key thing is the rigor of the test and the ability to revoke it. So let's talk about the test. Two parts of the test. Multiple choice test, this is not new. Lots of certification tests have, are, you know, you're always going to have some, some multiple choice component. This test is hard. Uh, in our initial trial runs, uh, the experienced techs that have been taking it, we've had a 30% failure rate. The test is challenging. There is a significant need to study up and really understand with rigor what you're fixing. So how do we set, write a test across all the thousands of devices out there? What we decided is we're going to pick two phones, two of the popular phones out there, we're going to ask you specific questions about those, and then we're going to ask you general questions about the rest of the industry. So the phones are the iPhone 5S and the Galaxy S5. And we go into extreme detail on those, and then we have a lot of, of broader questions, including ethical questions, including uh, you know, challenges around warranties and manufacturer support. So that's, that's the multiple choice test. We decided that wasn't enough. So how are we fixing this? The certification is going to require a hands-on repair. So if you cannot disassemble a phone, get it back together, and get it working, you cannot get certified. Every single person that will be certified uh, will do the hands-on test. At this conference, we're actually going to do the test in person. Uh, but most of the people getting certified will be certified online. So we're using some fairly sophisticated video streaming, anti-cheating software. And so you can sit in, in the privacy of your workshop take a phone apart, and uh, th this, the system takes over your screen, takes over your monitor, uh, and, and records everything that you're doing so we can actually record you doing the repair. Uh, and it has been really, really uh, good. Uh, we're checking. You can think of this kind of like a driving test. So you're out there on the driving test. If you cut across lane into traffic, if you drop a screw on the floor, if you're not ESD safe, we're going to dock you. Uh, and, and this has been, uh, I, we've been doing testing on this for a long time. And we think it's going to turn out really, really well for the community. OK, software integration. So that if, you, if you're running a retail repair shop, organization is key. You've got to have some kind of software to keep track of things. We've been working with the, the leading repair shop software out there. Uh, one of them is Repair Shopper. Uh, it's a fantastic tool. If you haven't tried it out, I recommend it. Uh, repair Shopper gives you detailed invoicing. Uh, it, it tracks your inventory for you. We're, and it, it's, they've been a really great team to work with. We're integrating directly into Repair Shopper um, so that we have product catalogs directly integrated. So you can go into Repair Shopper, load in the entire iFixit parts catalog, and it will, um, and, and then you can order directly from inside of Repair Shopper. And we're working with the other software vendors out there. So you don't have to use iFixit parts, but if you do, we're going to make it very easy. OK, so iFixit Pro is an ecosystem, wholesale parts and tools, integration with shop software, community, training, 
and certification. And we think that by pulling all of this together, it's going to remove a lot of the barriers and obstacles to the repair industry. Uh, the goal is to build a go-to resource where you know you can go for technical information, for community, for access to parts. And this is, you know, we've been running iFixit for over 12 years now. Uh, and it has taken us a very long time to get here. We have been working on integrating systems. The, th the thing that, that really has, has set us apart from everybody else has been the ability to bring repair guides together that are intuitive, easy to use, but sophisticated, that have the technical depth that we need, integrate it with parts, integrate it with tools, and now we're adding on the resources that professionals need. So I'm very, very excited about iFixit Pro. It's the operating system for repair businesses, and this very well could be the tooling and the ecosystem that you need to take your business to the next level. So that's, that's iFixit Pro. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a new endeavor for us, and we're very interested in feedback. Uh, we want to make it better. Um, it's only going to be as good as the community. It's only going to be as good as all of you.